The concept of match precipitation rates, I think, is ignored by a lot of people in the field or they don't quite know what it means. And really, the definition of matched precipitation rate is that all of the heads in a given area or on a single zone have the same precipitation rate measured in inches per hour. That means every head, no matter the radius, how far it's shooting, or the arc configuration that it's in, is putting out water at the same speed, at the same rate. And it's a problem, though, that I think is kind of prevalent in the industry, at least in the several markets that I've worked in, is that contractors will install heads with the same nozzle size for every arc configuration in every position. And the fact that at the distributor you can buy case quantity heads with the same nozzle pre-installed, typically a three gallon per minute, I think that that infers that a whole lot of contractors are out there not understanding the difference in precipitation rates or getting a matched precipitation rate across the entire zone or the entire area. Because the problem is that if you don't match these up, you can get wildly varying precipitation rates across an area, and some area may be getting four times as much water as another. And once it's installed, it's really hard to figure out what's going on and diagnose problems in the turf or the plants that you have unless you do a full-blown irrigation audit. And those are very time-consuming and can be expensive, and most residential customers aren't going to pay for that expense just for you to figure out why some areas of the turf are a lot greener than others or you have some wet spots and some dry spots. Because let's think this through. If you have a three gallon per minute nozzle in a head that's doing 360 degrees, you have it in 180 degree and also a 90 degree arc head, for the amount of time that a 360 degree head goes all the way around, a head in a 90 degree arc is going to cover its area four times in the time that the 360 degree head only sprays its given area once. So it has a big difference here. And let's look at this chart. And we're looking at a 2.5 gallon per minute nozzle. They, they all have the same radius distance. But let's look at the precipitation rate all the way over on the right. In the middle, we see a 180 degree head, and usually that's what your charts are predicated upon is a 180 degree pattern. So we see here that the precipitation rate is 0 0.70 inches per hour. So as it goes one time across its 180 degree arc, it's putting down water at 0 0.70 inches per hour speed. But if you had that same nozzle in a 90 degree head, it's going to have twice as much output or that it's going to go across its pattern twice as much. So its precipitation rate is 1.40 inches per hour, but the 360 degree head is one fourth of the 90 or half of the 180 degree pattern at 0.35 inches per hour. So you'll see that if you had the same nozzle size and heads in different arc configurations on the same zone, you've got a big problem. So there's a couple of ways around this. Either you could put all of the 90 degree heads on one zone, all of the 180 degree heads on another zone, and the 360 degree heads on a yet another zone. And even if you've got some other arc configurations like 210 or 270 degrees, you may need to put those on separate zones. And that could lead to two to three times as much pipe used, which it definitely ramps up the cost of an irrigation system versus somebody just co-locating all the heads, you know, in one zone, say all the right side of the yard on one zone, all the left side of the yard on another zone. So to do that, what you would have to do, it would be to stagger the nozzle sizes. For a 90 degree pattern, you would use a 1.5 gallon per minute nozzle. On a 180 degree pattern, you would use a three gallon per minute nozzle. And then on a 360 degree head, you would use a six gallon per minute nozzle. Now the problem with that is, is that you're going to get different radius lengths with those different gallon per minute nozzles. In fact, on the Rainbird uh, series of heads and, and on their nozzle tree, you're going to get up to five or more feet difference 
in each of those nozzle sizes. So on the design aspect, that's kind of a nightmare that you'd have to put the 90 degree heads in closer to the 180 degree heads because it's, I mean, five feet is, is quite a bit. And if you're not matching that up, you're going to get some gaps and so forth. But for rotors, we're kind of lucky because a couple of the manufacturers make a, an optional nozzle set that you can get that has match precipitation in four, like for the Rainbird, you have four different arc configurations, 90, 180, 270, and 360 degree. But you also have, you here you see the three different colors of nozzle sets. That's for, I think, uh, what, uh, 25, 30, and 35 feet radius lengths. Hunter makes a set of just like this for their I-20 and above series of heads. So that's pretty convenient for the rotors. It's easier to deal with with spray heads. Almost every manufacturer that I know of has lines of spray heads that are marked as MPR. And that means that every arc configuration, every radius distance is going to have the same precipitation rate. The rotator heads mostly are match precipitation, so the spray heads are easier to line up. It just takes a little bit more thought to deal with the rotors. And I hope this has cleared up some misconceptions and letting you know, you know, when you go out there to design a system, you're either going to have to stagger your nozzle sizes, separate your zones by arc configurations, or use a product that has the optional MPR nozzle sets.